Right, I just want to get this part on record. Um, is it true that your great form this year is down to your preseason roommate? Dude, for sure. <laughs> the talks that we had about life and getting ready. If it wasn't for Zach Kwani, none of this is possible. Hey, sure. Obviously, I wasn't doing a good enough job talking. I was trying to get you back out. I know, I left. Damn, <laughs> bro. You might have had that pretty face on the camera, cut, huh? Cut, cut the comeback short. Uh, no, but I mean, this whole year you've seen like a little bit extra happy, more in general. Um, is that because last year kind of a wake up call a little bit and then making the most of this? Or is it because you've come back and you've actually been playing really, really well? Yeah, I mean, I think if anybody can, you know, um, kind of understand where I'm coming from, it would be you. And and you know what it's like when uh, you got the game taken away from you and then you get back out there and you want to make an impact and, and playing and finally being back on the field and being able to play and for periods of time not knowing if you're going to get that opportunity or not. So it's kind of like you just want to make the most of it. Um, you're always going to stay true to how what you fell in love with the game about, but there's just that little bit extra of, of, of knowing that it could have been taken could could have been taken away, and, and and at least you got a little bit more time to play with it. Um, so I kind of look at it like that, just uh, you know, being able to to, to make up for, for kind of lost time. But that's kind of always been my mentality. I wasn't someone who got made it into the system real early. Um, I didn't go pro until kind of late for for people. I was 20, and at the time, people were coming in 18, 17 years old. So. Um, you know, I've always kind of felt that, 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 that race against time to try to make up and, and make the most of it. So hopefully there's a little time left and you know, more to be accomplished. But, um, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try my best to the end, that's for sure. You have this knack for always somehow scoring in big games. Timbers, World Cup versus Ghana. Is that, were you always that way growing up? Or is it something you've developed? Like, what's the reason behind always being the guy to step up in big games? Man, I, I've just been lucky to, to getting opportunities to play in big games. When you're in big games, there's always opportunities. And the thing about soccer, you know, is there's always next game. And to be in a situation where you play for, uh, you know, a good club team or you're playing for, a, 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 you know, a national team that's that's doing well and, and, and playing in major competition, it allows you that opportunity to, to step up. And, you know, a big thing for me, you know, losing my sister at a young age and, you know, that, that, that was real tough and, and, and not take things for granted and, and to work hard and try to make the most of everything. So when you got an opportunity, you had to make it happen or otherwise, you know, you, maybe you don't ever get your chance. I easily could have not made it pro. So I think just that blue collar mentality, I think that kind of, that fight and that competitive nature wanting to win. You came with a lot of pressure. You could have easily failed and why is Clint coming back to the States? Do you think you've proven why you came back and kind of justified it by some of these records you're breaking? Uh, that's a good question. Um, I guess it depends on who you ask, really. I mean, for me, it hasn't changed what, what my decision was. I mean, uh, my wife really didn't even want me to come back um, because she knew how much I wanted to try to accomplish in Europe and she knew I wanted to play Champions League. But for me, it was kind of deeper than that. It was not necessarily all about myself. It was, it was also kind of it was like being closer to home, being closer to family. Um, you know, in 2010, I had a grandpa I was really close to pass away. So just trying to be closer to family, to be able to gr keep growing the game here in the States, that was important for me. The league was growing, to be able to play in a place that was so passionate about the game, 40,000 fans plus um, every home game. For me, it's, it's a balance of a lot of different things when you make a decision. Um, but I still feel good about the decision that I've made. I, I, if, I, if I went back, I wouldn't change a thing. Yeah, we've done some good things here. We won Supporter Shield. Um, we've won an Open Cup. Um, you know, I wasn't able to be a part of the MLS Cup, but uh, in a small way I, I was in terms of playing uh, half the season. Um, but hopefully uh, there's more to be written. Makes that attacking run. Back for Dempsey! 